Welcome back. In the last video, we got our call script set up on the screen and we read it out loud and just did some debugging to make sure it flowed nicely. We're in a good spot with that. And so now it's time to collect um, some of the information from the customer that's calling into universal containers. And so our question ends with, may I have your name again, please? And so now it's time to collect the name information. Traditionally, there's a few ways you can do this. You could drag a um, name component from the input components on the screen flow or the screen element into the canvas. Uh, you could also drag a, a text component over. We're going to use a different approach, and that is at here at the top of the component section. There's another tab called fields. And so what we can use this for, I'll press uh, more info, but what we can do is define a record variable. And then that record variable is tied to a specific object in Salesforce. So you could imagine we would have a record variable for the lead object, which is what we're about to set up. And then once we have that variable created, Salesforce will show us every field that's possible to use uh, on the lead record here in this list. And so we need to set up a record variable in order to access this. Um, but it's a really great way to start dragging fields over to the screen. So let's click search for record variables. And there are none because we haven't created any. So let's make one. Uh, I'm going to press new resource. And this gives us the ability to just immediately create a record variable. So I can call this lead record variable. And then in the, in the description, I'll just write represents our new lead record. And you may not realize it, but you are familiar with record variables inside of a Salesforce flow. And you've gotten experience with these in the course by using the get elements. So anytime we use a get element to find a record, and then we tell Salesforce to save all of the fields, uh, Salesforce is automatically creating a record single variable for you to uh, work with that record that you found in the get elements. And so anytime in the flow builder course where you have uh, used the get element and then uh, clicked on the get element and then like picked one of the fields to either manually set that field or use that field in a formula or update another record based on that field. Um, that's all been using record variables. And the only difference between uh, the get element and what we're doing here is that we're just creating ours manually. And so that means that none of the fields will be populated at all. So we, we will have to assign them all manually, um, either with a screen or with some other mechanism in our flow. But um, don't worry, we're going to do all that as we go throughout the rest of this video. So I'm going to search for the object now. And the object we need to use is a lead. Once you set this, you can't change it without deleting the record variable and starting all over. So make sure you get that right. And that's really all we need to do is we have our lead record variable. This is going to represent our new lead record. The data type is the record. And so you can see there's multiple data types here. Just make sure it's the record type. And the object will be lead. So I'm going to press done. And as soon as our record variable is created here, we can then use it. And Salesforce is basically saying, oh, this is a lead record variable. OK, here are all the lead fields that we could potentially populate for you. And that's why the record variable and using this fields um, section is so awesome, because now you know exactly what fields uh, you need when you're building out um, your flow. So to get us back to collecting the name, I can just drag the required field for full name over. And that's another benefit of using the fields is it's going to tell you exactly which fields are required when you're creating a lead. So we are now collecting our name. And I think the next step would probably be to get like the phone or email. So I'm going to go uh, over here and click components. And then I'm going to add another call script component. And we'll just call it uh, call script two. And then I can say, uh, you know, thank you. In case we get disconnected, may I have your phone or email? And I'm not sure if that's what you know Pedro really wants it to say, but when you're building a screen flow, you might just have to guess at how the interaction is going to go. So at any rate, um, we'll collect their name. The junior sales team will then read out this you know next statement. It's like, hey, can I have your phone or email? And then we can click on our fields again, and we can uh, just drag the phone and email over to the canvas. So let's drag the phone over, I'll scroll up, and then I'll drag the email over. And so something that's important to know about our record variable is that when 
the junior sales team is entering information here. Uh, because we're using this record variable, the phone will be saved, like whatever they type in the phone number field will be saved into this uh, record variable. But it's not going to get into Salesforce until we use a create records or an update records. And so that's just something good to know. Uh, something else I, I should point out is that over here on the right, you can see in the field information section that you can uh, control the visibility of the field. So if you wanted to, you could set up some custom logic inside your screen flow. Uh, for example, we're not going to do this, but we could you know, set up the email field to only show when the phone number field is filled in. And so that's you know logic that you could potentially set up. We'll probably get experience with that throughout the course, but I at least wanted to mention it now. And then in the advanced section, uh, I just leave the defaults checked. So let's press done and we'll press save. And we can end the video there. And in the next video, we'll take these input, you know, like the name, phone, and email, and we'll try to create a lead record inside Salesforce.